So I had a mobile coffee business um, and I was looking for a power source to be able to run my all of my equipment and everything like that. Um, trying to serve just a higher quality experience. And so when I went to think about power, it's like, okay, gas generators are kind of a standard for mobile, you know, food trucks, coffee, that sort of thing, but they're noisy, smelly, um, doesn't, doesn't pair very well with coffee, diesel, notes of diesel. I was just kind of, um, I had thought back to a conversation that I had with uh, Sid Gobby, and he um, is the owner of, owner and operator of Slow River Coffee. It's another um, mobile coffee truck that's here in Boise, Idaho. Um, great guy, but he actually shared with me his intent to, um, yeah, look into batteries and brought up Juul and um, it sounded quite novel. And so I started looking into it as well. And yeah, I was really excited to kind of find a solution um, to my, yeah, to my need that um, yeah, was a lot cleaner. Um, had the potential to be green energy and everything like that. So I have three um, lithium ion base stations. Um, they're all kind of in series working together. Um, and I actually have a, I, as a user, I feel fairly unique in that my um, power output is um, pretty high. Um, I, my espresso machine that I'm operating with um, requires 240 volt and it's 30 amps. So it's actually a pretty big draw. Um, so we needed a pretty big system to be able to power that for, you know, um, a four, six, four to six hour event. Um, for me, um, one of the big factors in choosing um, to go with dual batteries was actually um, a completely mode of business operation. Um, as a mobile vendor, I am able to effectively run all of my equipment while I'm moving. So um, in terms of setup um, and teardown, it's, it's minimal, very minimal. Um, and so it even allows me to, um, to serve people differently. Um, I am able to have everything running in my trailer um, so I can effectively drive around and kind of serve people like an ice cream truck. Um, you know, I don't have to stop, park, pull out, you know, several hundred pound generator, fire it up. There, there's just so many things that I can do with this system that um, could not be afforded had I gone with a gas generator. While I'm a mobile business, I'm even more mobile than most just because of the way that the batteries allow me to operate. I don't, I'm not as static as maybe some other businesses. Um, so that to me was a really big incentive. Um, another one was just kind of the, um, I, I guess my personal beliefs of just energy consumption and um, just trying to, to do more to help the environment. Um, as far as a business goes, you know, um, running a gas generator all, you know, every time I'm doing an event or wanting to serve, it's, um, yeah, it's just, for me, it's a, it doesn't coincide with like a sustainable future. So really trying to um, just kind of make that choice. Um, it's not always easy um, or um, <laughs> not always cheaper, but um, I believe it's the, the right choice for me and, and for my business. And I think it's also something that we're going to start seeing people demand more of businesses is to have that um, kind of just forward thinking approach of sustainability and you know, as a coffee shop, it might not be as in demand as, say, of larger corporations. You know, my footprint is arguably smaller than, you know, a billion dollar company or something like that. But, um, yeah, I think every, every bit helps. So.